Hi guys, welcome to this session in Power BI Desktop. In this module, I want to show you how you can create some measures to help improve the look of your visualizations. So on the screen, I've already opened Power BI Desktop and I'm going to get some data from an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm clicking this one and here's the spreadsheet that I want, sales details. Now that's going to load up and it's going to give me some options to transform the data or load it straight in so it's the reseller sales that i want i am a, i'm going to transform the data i'm just going to have a quick look to see if there's anything in this data that i need to do in terms of improving the look of it for example you've got the look at the top there you can change the the labels a little bit so I'll call that one category and then this one can just be called subcategory i don't need it to say product that can just be called name so I'll just get rid of that and then moving along, let's see what else I can do. I don't want that to say no, I want that to say NA. So let's transform that, transform the first values. This box comes up, type the word no in there, replace it with NA or whatever you want. NA, NA, okay to that one. Order total. That's okay if I come across order quantity. Order date is not formatted to a date, so let's change that to a date. And then unit price is not formatted, so I'll just format that to a fixed decimal. Unit price discount, set that to percentage. So sales amount, that's a fixed decimal. Total due is also a fixed decimal. So you just clicking up there and, and changing that. And any step that you make that you don't like, you can just cancel it off and do it again. But once you've completed everything, added things to it or whatever you want to do, you can just go back to home and close and load. And then it will put it into Power BI. And you should see it over here in the data area as soon as it's done its little thing. Let's wait for that. Okay. And it's done it. And there it sits there and there's all the fields so basically what you have here is your data area your visualizations all your little charts and then this is collapsed at the minute but an area for filters i'll just leave that off so let's have a look what we can do now just ticking these just puts that tick salesperson it just basically creates a list of salespeople, which is not that big but you can put sales a little list like that and then if you put any of these next to them, so sales amount, let's have a look at that. It puts the sales amount for those people. So the total sales is 80 million. So you can see that sitting there. That's okay. Now you've also got the ability to change that to a, a chart if you want. Just click on the chart. It's all right. It's already sorted out in the order there. And then at the top there, you've got once you've picked a visual, you've got the option then to format that a little bit. So you've got options to change the axes, colours and things like that. So change the axes, colours, so the title, change that to whatever you want. I'll leave that as it is. And then coming down, you've got different options down there. Bars, if you don't want them to be blue, you can change them to be whatever colour that is. And then you've got data labels. And it's not, it's, everything's grayed out there at the moment. It can't do anything with that. And then, what area background? It's going to allow you to browse for anything you want to put in the background, but I'm not going to do that. Now, what I want to look at is if I go back to the visuals, is creating a few measures and adding the measures up here. So, for example, new measure would allow me to add some things into a card to so give the measure a name. So I'm going to go total sales, total sales. Then after that you click and then you do some as you would in Excel and it comes up with your bracket of all the, the sales. So you've got different options there, but sales amount is what I want that one. Click that and then just close the bracket at the end there and that will give me a measure and that measure comes in like a little 
calculator symbol there. Now if I use a card, so you've got this card and then a new card, new card, click on this one. I don't want to do that, will do. Let's click away from that, otherwise I'll just change that one. So if I click on this card and then I tick that little measure, total sales, that puts that in there for me. And I'm going to just leave it there. And then I'll do another one, new measure. This time I'll call it average sales. And then it works the same way. I'm just going to use the average function. Just open the bracket, it gives me a list of everything. Total sales amount, close the bracket at the end there. Click the tick. And I get another little calculator sitting at the top for average sales. So I'll sit that there and I'll do a card and tick that one. So that's going to give me the average sales. Now these can be made quite a little bit smaller than that. I can just bring this one up there. So you're just going to position these so that you can create a report on it. Now, if I click on these, you can colour them in. Um, if I go to, I click on Format and then General. Then on Effects, you can change the colour of the background to make them stand out a little bit more. So I'll make that one grey. On this one, make it the same sort of size. And then make that one grey. Go on to Format, General, Effects, and select grey. So those both look the same. Slightly different size because that figure is a little bit bigger. But just push them in a little bit. That's that. That's all right. So that's two measures that we've created there. Now, when I click on Individuals, so if I click on that bar there, you can see that the things, the, the cards themselves, are changing to reflect whatever I've got selected there, which is great. Click off that. And then now I want to do another measure, which always shows you the total sales, no matter what filter you put on there. So I'm going to do that one. So what I'm going to do is create a new measure. So new measure. So this is going to be called fixed total. And I'm going to use the calculate function. So now I need to put the previous measure that I did, which was total sales in there. The square bracket that comes up, total sales. Now, if I leave that as it is, it will be still it will still react to um, the filters. If I click on one of these, what I'm going to do is you see you've got this filter option there. I'm going to do a comma, and then I'm going to use remove filters. So remove filters, and then I'm just going to close a bracket on that, so that will remove all filters. And then I'm going to close the bracket again for the calculate function. And let's have a look at that. So I tick that one. Do myself another, sure I'm not picked on anything. Get myself another card. There she blows. So I've got one now called fixed total. If I tick that one, it comes up with the same figure as that, which is great. But when I click on this, that one stays complete as the fixed total where this is now reacting to whichever filter I select from this list. So that one is just going to always show you that total figure. Now, if you want the same color scheme, you can use the format painter to paint across there. If you want this paint, might not work for the charts. They have a clashing color in terms of the chart, but the whole, the whole thing can be set up to look the same and make it all nice and presentable. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this little video is how you can use measures to enhance your visualizations in Power BI. So hopefully it's been of use this little video. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.